after coming out on eTalk last night, Adamo's story got picked up by popular blogs like PerezHilton.com. Today, in part two of our interview with the Degrassi star, we go behind the scenes at his cover shoot for gay magazine, Fat. The photo shoot is so much fun. I'm so excited. Like, it's, uh, it, you know, it was my opportunity to say, let, let, uh, just let me do what I want. And yeah. Fab was so great to just work with me and be very collaborative and let me wear my crazy clothes. And you have good style, though. I, and that's not a stereotype. Thank you, but <laughs> I, I know I have some crazy things sometimes. My family sits back and says, okay, but, <laughs> but I love the magazine. Just let me do that. You know, I'm wearing top hats and doing crazy things. And, you know, and even in the interview is ultimately very much, you know, what, what I... Think. And what an amazing sense of relief that is to kind of finally step in front of the media. Adamo now joins a very short list of Hollywood celebs who are willing to discuss their sexuality. I wanted to ask you also what your take is on stars being outed by, you know, Perez or whoever. In Hollywood and with the Perez and all that stuff, you know, I think what everyone really tends to forget is that, you know, as much as you really want it and you really want them to speak up and, you know, I commend people like, you know, Perez and all these people are saying, you know, speak up, speak up, speak up because they're so comfortable with who they are. We don't know their life right. and we don't know what they're no, going through. In a way, thank God for being Canadian too, to respect my privacy. You like, haven't seen our paparazzo dude go to your uh, bedroom window? Did I get <laughs> I'm just <excited>? kidding. <laughs> yeah, you just got excited. Oh, God. Out and proud, Adamo's working alongside TR Knight and others on the Trevor Project. Call one 866 for you, Trevor. A support line for gay and questioning youth. Oh, it was incredible. I just thought, you know, that precisely was in that moment. It's like, look, there's some kid somewhere sitting there thinking he's going to take his life because he's completely lost. And, you know, I, that's ultimately, it's, it was those moments in my work with the Trevor Project that made me think, you know, there is a lot of work to be done, you know, for all of us. You know, gay, straight, it doesn't really matter.